The Iraqi Dinar Revaluation Scam, An Examination of False Hope and Financial Deception Introduction The notion that the Iraqi Dinar IQD will appreciate in value by an unprecedented multiple has circulated in certain investment circles for many years. This idea, often presented as an insider tip or a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, is in reality a long-standing scam. Promoters of this scheme suggest that the Iraqi dinar, which has been significantly devalued since the fall of Saddam Hussein's regime, is poised for a dramatic revaluation or RV as proponents call it, a term that also calls to mind the recreational vehicles that people dream of buying with their newfound wealth that will multiply its worth many times over, making early investors incredibly wealthy. However, the likelihood of such an event occurring is virtually non-existent. This essay will explore the history of the Iraqi dinar revaluation scam, the demographics it targets, and the improbability of the currency's value ever increasing as advertised. The History of the Iraqi Dinar Scam The origins of the Iraqi Dinar Scam can be traced back to the early 2000s, following the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003. After the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, the Iraqi economy was in turmoil, and the new government introduced a series of new banknotes to replace the old currency, which had become virtually worthless. The new dinar, while more stable than its predecessor, was still valued at a fraction of a U.S. CENT around this time. Rumors began to spread that Iraq's abundant oil reserves and the eventual recovery of its economy would lead to a significant revaluation of the dinar. Promoters of this idea claimed that the currency, which was trading at a rate of thousands of dinar to one U.S. dollar, would soon be revalued to something much closer to the U.S. dollar's value. Some extreme predictions suggested that a single dinar might one day be worth several U.S. dollars, representing a profit potential of several hundred thousand percent for those who bought in early. The scam gained momentum over the years, particularly through online forums, social media, and even in-person seminars. It preyed on people's desire for quick and easy wealth often using pseudo-economic arguments and speculative analysis to lend credibility to the claim. However, despite the persistence of these rumors, the dinar's value has remained relatively stable at its low level, with no indication that a revaluation is on the horizon. Targeting the vulnerable, who falls for the dinar scam The Iraqi dinar scam targets a broad range of individuals, but certain demographics are particularly susceptible. The scam is especially appealing to those who are financially insecure, such as retirees, low-income earners, or individuals facing economic hardship. These people are often attracted to the idea of a small investment potentially yielding a life-changing return. The promise of a dinar revaluation can appear as a beacon of hope in an otherwise bleak financial landscape. Moreover, the scam often targets those who lack sophisticated financial literacy. Many victims do not have a deep understanding of how currency markets work and are easily swayed by the seemingly logical but fundamentally flawed arguments presented by promoters. These arguments often include references to historical revaluations of other currencies, misleading comparisons to post-war Germany or Japan, and exaggerated claims about Iraq's economic potential due to its oil reserves. In addition, the scam tends to attract individuals with a distrust of conventional financial institutions. Promoters often paint the dinar investment as a way to circumvent traditional investment vehicles, appealing to those who believe that mainstream finance is rigged against the average person. This conspiratorial mindset is further fueled by the online echo chambers where these ideas are shared and reinforced. The scam has also found a foothold in certain social and religious communities, where trust in fellow members can be exploited by promoters of the scheme. Scammers sometimes exploit patriotic sentiments, suggesting that purchasing dinars somehow supports Iraq's reconstruction while promising enormous returns. The Improbability of a Dinar Revaluation Despite the persistence of these rumors, the likelihood of a substantial revaluation of the Iraqi dinar is exceedingly slim. 
several fundamental economic and geopolitical factors contribute to this conclusion. Firstly, the vast quantity of Iraqi dinars in circulation significantly hampers the possibility of the currency appreciating massively in value. For the dinar to experience a dramatic increase in value, Iraq would need to undergo an extraordinary economic transformation, which is highly improbable given the current economic conditions. The large money supply means that any attempt to revalue the currency would require a substantial reduction in the number of dinars in circulation, which is logistically and economically unfeasible. Additionally, a sudden and massive appreciation would disrupt the economy, leading to inflation and other financial instabilities. Therefore, the sheer volume of dinars makes a significant revaluation highly unlikely. Iraq's economy while possessing significant oil reserves, remains fragile and heavily reliant on oil exports. The country faces ongoing challenges such as political instability, corruption, and security concerns, which undermine investor confidence and deter foreign investment. Additionally, the Central Bank of Iraq has implemented a monetary policy aimed at maintaining stability rather than pursuing aggressive revaluation strategies. Any significant increase in the dinar's value would likely harm Iraq's economy by making its exports more expensive and less competitive on the global market. Currency revaluations of the magnitude suggested by dinar promoters are unprecedented. Historical examples of revaluations often involve countries emerging from periods of hyperinflation or war, where the value of the currency had been artificially suppressed. Even in such cases, the revaluation process is controlled, gradual, and does not result in the kind of massive windfalls that dinar promoters suggest. Lastly, the Iraqi government and the central bank have consistently denied any plans for a major revaluation. Official statements have reiterated that the dinar's value will continue to be determined by market forces and that there are no plans to peg the currency to the US dollar or any other foreign currency at a dramatically different rate. Conclusion The idea that the Iraqi dinar will appreciate in value by an unprecedented multiple is nothing more than a persistent scam, preying on the hopes and fears of the financially vulnerable. Despite the seductive promise of enormous returns, the economic realities of Iraq and the dynamics of currency markets make such a revaluation virtually impossible. Those who have fallen for the dinar scam have often lost money, time, and hope, while the promoters of this scheme continue to profit from spreading falsehoods. It is crucial for potential investors to exercise skepticism and to seek out reliable financial advice before engaging in any such speculative investments.